what's going on lads, King from AGK Productions, and today I'm bringing you another episode of GT5 First Person Story Mode playthrough. Today, this is episode 14. Uh, but first of all, I'd like to apologise for um, yesterday's episode. Turned out the video was actually like, too long. Like, they were both supposed to be the one video, that's why I didn't do an intro for the second video, and that's also why I called it part two. Um, apologies for my voice if it sounds like weird because I've like got a cold, it's not nice. But anyway, um, hopefully, I can get two missions done today. That'd be hopefully, this isn't the same mission. You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite in. Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Why, Jaho? Why, sir? Yeah, we will bang you. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Huh? Who? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem. Since one of them's going to have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them. <laughs> uh, this music's all fucking wrong. That's what I'm looking for. Brothers, you got you inbred freaks.
music intensifies. I don't know what the point in that room is, but... Oh well. Alright, I'll we'll just go down there then. There's not a huge truth here. I can squeeze in another mission. Uh, 
the hell would that take? I'm not gonna tell me. Kidding me? You, you just you just hit me with the car. And now they know where the ATV is. Oh, should I? Um, I won't be doing a video tomorrow because I'm out tomorrow, so I'm going to post the video today. here you're not even hidden have you got it I've been trying Trevor I've been trying come on over here all right I ain't gonna hit you I've been trying I know I know I thought you said you wasn't gonna hit me I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley there's two Michael Townley living in LS. One is 83 and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe. She threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I looked through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo. Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know. Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard. Get out here. We're going to Los Santos. Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money. We gonna stop for ice cream? Um, <laughs> so, so we're headed to Los Santos then? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? Road trip? We taking this one? Get in! Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He funked in with his girlfriend someplace called The Lost Camp. Ooh, I got some fond memories of this place.
Okay, I managed to get caught there, but... This is where dead men come back to life. Huh? It's been nearly ten years, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? Mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would you be? It's this future oh, yeah, beach where he stays. Well, you <coughs> tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike. Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one. No, no he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha 
was good at. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work. But you didn't hear that from me. Oh. Oh. We're near Floyd Cap. I've seen it on I find map. I'll give you directions. Now keep going. This is the place. I think it is at least. Floyd! Floyd! It's up here, Trevor. Floyd, it's me, Wade. Who? Me, Wade, your cousin. Who? Your cousin! Fuck! It's come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you, Wade. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was caught meddling fed. The guy was never true. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. Well, anyway, lads, I'm going to have to end this episode um, here. I'll, um, remember to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, leave a dislike if you didn't, and leave in the comments how I can improve my content. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. See you.